If it was the sex that caused it, I think we need to find out. So, why don't we perform our own stress test right now? Sex here? Now in the ER? It was definitely not something I would have normally done. Look, this is the only way to find out if it's sex that caused my head pain. So I was like, okay, just do it, just do it. You know, no one's gonna know. I think we're gonna need a little privacy for this. She took matters into her own hand. Oh, that's it. Oh, right there. Oh, that's it, right, right there. He's right over here. Don't, don't stop. I'm oh, almost at my stress point. Is everything okay over there? Uh, yeah, everything's great. Uh, I'm just fluffing Tom's pillow. Oh, fluff it some more. Let's give them some privacy. This is what's happening. But I blamed it on him. Wait at first. a second. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get something straight here because <laughs> this is already embarrassing. <laughs> But she was doing it to me. I wasn't just sitting there figuring, hey, what the hell, hospital, this is a great place to do this. Oh, Excellent fluff. <laughs> I guess it wasn't the sex that caused it. But then the pain just went crazy. No, 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 scratch that. Oh, oh my head. Oh, are you, uh, Tom, what's... My head's gonna burst. And he just started screaming all these awful, awful things. <laughs> I can feel it in my eyeballs. Doctor, doctor. What is it? What happened? I have something to tell you. When Tom's headache started, he wasn't exercising. She went out there and told them <laughs> that I was doing it myself. Uh, okay. And uh, now he's in a bunch of pain, and he failed the stress test. He failed it. Okay, calm down. Let's go take a look. We've ruled out stroke, tumor, and an aneurysm. But the best evidence so far we have is the repeating of the symptoms caused by sexual activity. This sounds like a case of coital cephalalgia. Coital cephal what? The technical term for orgasmic migraine is coital cephalophagia. It occurs in approximately 3% of the population. Hey, does this mean that I'm going to have painful sex for the rest of my life? We don't really know what triggers it. It can occur more often with multiple orgasms or a very intense orgasm. Not at all. You may never even have this problem again. Since your elevated blood pressure might have been a factor, I'm gonna write you a prescription to deal with that. She just said, don't do anything to bring this on for two weeks. I don't know, Sailor. Can we hold out for two weeks? She said, you can't have sex for two weeks. Oh, that is not fair. And. No more stress tests. 